Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to my supporters. If you're in the market to buy Tesla, you have a few more, more days to use my referral code and get three months of free FSD. Uh, also support me on Patreon. I am in a supercharger in, in Fort Lauderdale, South Florida, on my little mini vacation. I rented this standard range plus Tesla Model 3 2019 with a whopping range of 220 miles, I think. Maybe it was 240, but it's 220. From Turo, I love Turo and I love Airbnb. I never go to hotels and I never rent cars from car companies, from rental car companies, and I hate both. Okay, this is great, I love Turo. And the guy who I rented the car from is a very nice guy. If you want his, uh, if you want his name and all that, I can send him to you if, you if you want to rent his car in South Florida. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about Tesla stock. Now, just full disclosure, I've, I've been a Tesla stock owner for many years. Uh, not long enough, unfortunately, but whatever. I do not suggest you buy, sell, or hold any any stock. So this is not financial advice. And as you know, in the last few days, since the conference call of uh, Q1, Tesla stock went up, I think, a little bit more than 14% when I'm making this video at uh, 8.30 in the morning at uh, on April 25th. Anyway, so why why is the Tesla why did the Tesla stock go up and why does the trajectory and according to my opinion it's going to continue to go up in the next few months, even though we all knew that Tesla did not deliver as many cars in Q1 as they did in Q4 and less than Q1 2021. So the numbers were bad, the levers were were bad. Uh, um, the financial numbers were everything was bad. So why is that? And it's one word that appeared in this call as opposed to the call from Q4. And that word is guidance. What does Wall Street like? Guidance. Tell me what you're going to do this year, next year, the next five years. And that's exactly what Tesla and Elon Musk did. Guidance. We are going to create a new platform that will, will be used to make in the existing factories, 3 million cars that are going to be manufactured in the existing lines, cheaply, efficiently, uh, many models, many models, cyber cab, no more model two, cyber cab, uh, whether it's autonomous, whether it's with steering wheel for people to buy, uh, in all our four factories that make cars, this is the guidance. We're gonna make new models, cheap models, FSD, autonomous car, Robo taxi. Here's the app. Here are the plan. Guidance. That, so, so investors say, okay, I know what to expect now. Let's see what happened in a year from now. If what you said, it's going to come tr tr uh, true. And if you are going to do what you said you're going to do, then I'm ahead of the game. That's why I invested. If not, I will sell again. That's the story. That's it. When Tesla went up tremendously in 20, 2020, okay? What was what was the issue? What was the story? Guidance. We are going to deliver 450,000 cars in 2020. We are going to deliver 9 million cars in 2021. We are going, guidance. Guidance, guidance, guidance. So uh, in Q4, which Tesla delivered the most cars in a, in a, in a quarter in its history, the conference call was so bad because there was no guidance. Well, it's going to be a tough year. Well, demand is the well, the well, 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 excuses. There was no guidance. There was no picture. There was nothing was clear. We don't know. What are you saying? What are you doing? Okay. Everybody was edgy, uh, uh, ed uh, agitated when everybody was upset. Guidance. So now, we have a year or two to see if Tesla can deliver on what they say they would. FSD, autonomous, robot taxi, new models, new platform, two, three million cars in the existing factories, efficiency. If that happens, then the sky's the limit. Then it's great. Then you build more, more factories and you duplicate this system and you make it better and better. That's the story. That's why it's going up. Optimism, future. Not now. We understand it's bad times. Interest rates are high. Wars in the Middle East and Ukraine and the, the Suez Canal and this and that and all kinds of challenges. And we'll get through them and we'll be better than the other on the other side. And 2024 is going to be tough and this and this and that. 
That's it. You just give us guidance and we have a year or two or three to judge if your guidance is true. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.